Hey, hello, this is a trade video for MS Hunt Jump, I believe. Um, that is your username. Um, anyways, I saw your trade video, and I really want the Nakoda horse. Also, um, I saw you had a couple lady faces. One was a Plebid in Gray, and one was a Palmino Paint and stuff. And I was wondering if any of those ones were available. Also, I would like to get a second one of her, if you have that one. But, um, anyways... I'm not sure what's available or what other people want. I don't want to take anything anyone else wanted. Also, if you have any Briar traditional riders, because I only have one, I need to get a few more for a video I'm doing. So anyways, I'll start off with what I have. I have two PlayStation 2 games in almost new condition. This one was played like twice. The cover got dirty because it's been kind of stored for a little bit. Um, anyways, that one was like 20 something dollars, and this one was 10 It's a horse one. This one's in pretty new condition too. So this is about $30 worth here if you want these. I don't know if you're a gamer or not. Anyways, there's two of those. Um, I make a lot of custom tack, like this one right here, which is a dog collar. I think it's pretty cute. This one's on Twain. But anyways, um, like I also have custom braided bridles I do. This one's uh, fully braided. I'll do like partial braiding or full braiding. This one doesn't have a nose band. And, you know, use a little bit of sticky wax to keep the bit there. Then it has, like, uh, partially braided half-twisted reins. So, anyways, it's really nice. Um, I would offer this guy, but I'm using him in a movie right now. He's in pretty good condition. I think I could... Actually, yeah, I think I could trade him because I have one similar to him that I can use for the movie. Um, anyways, I also make, uh, English bridles with really realistic bits and buckles. Um, anyways, that was designed for actually my horse, uh, Flash. So anyways, uh, this is a Bozel Hackamore here that I have. This is the rather rough leather you would get. The more, uh, nicer leather, like over there, that's really nice, you know, smooth leather, more realistic leather. That's the one that you would get if you got one of the Bozels. These go online for, let's see, for traditional, I think it's eight fifty that these go for. Uh, this is a saddle I made. Anyways, I would have put it on him, but it was made for, custom made for a larger one. This traditional, which is a custom buckskin, if you want him, he's available. Um, anyways, I also make, uh, traditional, like, Arabian horse halters, and they go anywhere from eight to twelve dollars here. Actually twenty five because um I had my braided or actually woven one right here. These are braided, these are woven. So it's nice this one's a show halter. Uh that one's like the tradi the actual modern sh Arabian show halters. Um I know that for a fact. And these ones are more like the costume ones. Um anyways they all have different variations. Also I make barns and feed room, so if you want either of that, I can make that for you. Ship it out, like, you know, in a flat box, and I would have the things to hook it up. Like, um, I'm devising a new latch system for hooking up the barn to keep it together, just to make it more durable. Um, anyways, right here I have this Marin full set I paid $50 for. They're in almost the same condition, except she has an ear rub. They both have ear rubs that weren't there when I bought them. Um, so I got them for like $50. If you want one or two of those, you want both or one, that's good. I have this one, and also I have, uh, this is like that paint-by-number horse, done into a roan. It's not that good of a custom, but if maybe if you wanted to repaint it or practice on it. Um, also... I have like two more of these kits, so if you want one of the kits, just let me know. This one right here is a little bit, so I paid ten dollars for. She does have some marks. She's in like customizing condition. I don't know if you customize. Um, this one here is actually the Mustangio foal. It's the second ever made of this mold. Um, he has just black marks, but you can basically. I'm pretty sure you can rub them off, which I'm I'm gonna do try and do. Anyways, he's really nice. He's a vintage. He was made in the like, late 80s. Uh, anyways, this one has, like, extra paint from the person who got it before me. Spilled 
paint on it. So I'm going to work on getting it off, but it's a vintage fold. It's like the first one ever made of the grazing folds. First model that they issued of that one. Um, I have Freckle Doll right here. She's in kind of, she has marks and stuff. Also, I can customize these for you. Um, anyways, I have this harness, leather harness I'm working on. It's supposed to attach to a cart. This is just in here just to hold it up for right now. This is actually designed on the cigar mold, so I'm just trying it out on this one for right now. I just kind of threw it on so it's not really anything fancy. It took, you know, I only just threw it on for a quick video. But anyways, that one was going to be sold on eBay once I complete it because I have a couple more pieces to make on it for 20 bucks. Um, anyways, this one's kind of a nice one. I wouldn't trade this one, but this is just some of my example work. This is a roan that I did which is really nice. Um, if you want, I can do a custom of that one. Um, also, this one actually I'm selling for 25 on eBay. I'm almost finished with it. Um, realistic eye. Well, I haven't put it up on eBay yet, so if you want it. It has a pink nose. It has a blue eye on one side. It's very realistic. I can actually send you a video with pictures of that one. Um, anyways, I have like a Peter Stone over there, but I'm still working on him. I do have that family Arabian mare there. She has poorly re-sculpted back legs, but she's really good. Like, she's really cool. If you want her like this, she looks kind of neat. Um, I based it on a horse that I know of, but um, anyways, also she's a good like if you want to. I don't know if you want to repaint her or not, but she's kind of interesting. Um, what else do I have? Oh, yeah. And then I wouldn't really trade anything in here maybe, I don't know. But anyways, um, I have tons of these blankets. Like, I have two of this. I have those blankets. I have this one down here. So if you want to trade that, I make tack boxes. Um, I make these, and I'm just going to get up in a minute. Also, if you had, like, any three of those classics there. I have some stable mates. Um, so yeah, let me just get up. All these ones are not for trade. So they're like show string slash first models. Wait. Okay, down here, I'm sorry, it's a little bit of a wreck. Um due to the fact the little kid was in here. Um, but anyways, um, I didn't really fully put on this harness, like I'd have the reins and everything. But this is another harness I made. This one's more detailed. This is like the first one I ever try to make. It's like the second one that's over there. But um anyways. This is like the more, this is like the really realistic detailed. It's made out of black ribbon, but like if you had her in a show, they wouldn't really tell. Of course, you know, you would cut these into whatever size you need them. But I left it out. This one was for a cart, too. Um, really nice. It has the check reins and everything. Um, so anyways, I can make you one of these. Or if you want one of the ones that you just saw, you can take that. Um, anyways, this is the extra blanket I have. And then I also have this, like, white blanket. These all retail for, like, you know, $5 a piece. Um, anyways, I do have a website with a lot of my custom tack. The thing is, I redid the halters that I have. But anyways, I make, like, uh, the fire size. Oh, yeah. Also, this is one of my other, uh, live show quality halters I've made. This one would be sold on eBay for 10 It's on the Leaf Fire mold. Leaf Fire is not for trade. Never will he be. Um, I make like little tiny halters for the Leaf Fire, like the newborn full size. Um, anyways, this tack room is really nice. You see it has uh, places for this. I'm currently making it, but it has shelving. I can do as many shelves as you want. It comes with the feed bags. It'll come with like, you know, the saddle stands up on the wall. It'll come with a tack box. It'll come with a bunch of stuff and maybe even some tack. So if you want one of these, you know, you can have this, and I can make the whole entire tack room. Um, so yeah, also our halters have been redesigned. Oops. Yeah. <sighs> Flash is not betrayed. But here he is. Um, it's new square buckles, which my camera cannot focus on, which is really annoying. And also I have these new realistic buckles, like the real Rondo buckles. So anyways... If you see anything you're interested in, or like if you want to combine a couple horses, and that, oh yeah, also, 
I have Mint in Box Sasha de Moon, which retails for 40 So if you want her, just let me know. Plus, I have some other different bridles I make and different halters. So, like, I make special draft stuff, too. So if you see anything you want, plus I'll, like, list additional stuff. Plus, I have some new horses coming in, so just let me know. Um, that's it.